Hey, we are back and we're going to clean up this calendar assistant uh, feature that we built a little bit more. So the first thing that I want to show you is something I've mentioned previously, but we haven't used so far, which is the select tool. So this is great because we can select a different UI elements out of the preview here. And in a similar way to the Chrome extension, uh, what you can do is just hit shift and basically increase the size of the element that you're selecting so that you can select, you know, the whole thing. From here, you can either click add to chat or edit code. So add to chat provides the context to the AI, or if you want to edit some changes directly, you can do that in edit code. So for example, if I don't like the title of calendar assistant, maybe I want to call it something else. I can take a look in the code here and just try to find the text that's relevant for the title. So we'll do a control F and we'll take a look for calendar assistant. We can see that's the title there. And rather than call it calendar assistant, I'll just call it assistant. If I hit save, we should see in just a second here is that the whole application re-renders and we get our updated text. So this is really nice for those really small changes that you just want to make yourself. The other thing we can do, as mentioned, is add to chat. So that provides in the context that we want. And let's just go ahead and say, make the chat uh, UI minimizable. I don't know if that's a real word to be honest, but uh, hopefully it understands what I'm saying. And I just want to be able to minimize basically this little section here so that we can close it out. So this is just a quick improvement that I want to make on the existing feature that I just added. Cool. So from here, that should work. We can minimize and then pop this back up. And, you know, we get that additional little bit of functionality there. And so generally speaking, when you're interacting with magic patterns or any AI uh, prototyping tool, what you want to do is really scope the changes to a small amount per request. You know, don't say like implement me all of Gmail in one request, really, you know, get your initial views, get the styling to look great, and then increment, incrementally move forward from there. I think what I'll do next is just show you another technique here. So this one's called reflection. Basically what you do is rather than you trying to list out every single change between uh, the provided screenshot design and what you wanted, right? So sometimes there's a little bit of a difference between what magic patterns comes up with and the actual screenshot. You can ask the AI to help you with this as well. So you can basically just say, uh, can you make a list? of all the, the improvements you could make to match the design more exactly. You can say refer to the screenshot and then uh, please implement these. And again, sometimes it's actually helpful to pass in the screenshot a second time here. Uh, you know, sometimes the AI tools struggle a little bit with maintaining context over time. And so if you're ever doing something like this, it can be helpful again to just pass it in one more time here. So what we want from this is a list of the changes that it can identify based on what we have implemented and obviously based on that screenshot there as well. And once again, this just saves you a little bit of time rather than like typing out literally every single thing that's different, then it's going to go ahead and find some of those improvements for us. So you can see that it's making some changes for us and hopefully the next iteration looks a little bit closer to Google Calendar. Cool. So as you can see that we've had some improvements here as well. We have the holiday indicators. We have a create button in the top left corner over here, the right sidebar with the icons, the updated header styling and all that good stuff. If we want to watch the preview as a whole, we can click that out. We can see how that looks just like this. One other quick tip is that you can actually use something called a .md file. So this is a markdown file in order to create a plan that you want to execute over time. So let's say that we want to add a new feature here, but it's going to take us more than one step in order to do that. We want to break it down into smaller chunks. What we can do is say, create a plan.md file for implementing a modal to add new events, a day and month view and the ability to switch between uh, different months slash years. So this is a lot of, you know, features that I'm basically asking for all at once. And we'll go ahead and start with that. I think that's probably a good place to start and I kick that off. So what I want from this is a file, the, the, the MD file, that basically helps us break down this request into more than one set of features. And then we can use it in order to reference the phases, basically, of phase one, two, and three. So you can see here that we have our implementation plan here. And we can go ahead and implement these changes. So I'll say, please implement phase one. And we'll be able to kick that off. So this is another great tip if you're taking on a larger task. Don't try to do it all at once. Use something like a plan.md file in order to plan out the steps that you need in order to kind of build out that new feature. 
Okay, so we've implemented phase one, which is our switcher up at the top here. So you can see we can now flip between a day view, a month view, and a week view. And again, we can continue to iterate over time using the same patterns. Cool, so that's gonna be it for this one. When you're ready, I'll see you in the next video.